Who is the scientist who developed computer architecture? In our time, the computer has become one of the most important basic electronic devices that we rely on to accomplish many difficult tasks in a short time, thanks to the architecture on which computers are based, which has evolved over time, and has had a tremendous impact on the development of the programming languages used. But who is the scientist who developed the computer architecture? What are the foundations on which this architecture is built? Despite the efforts of mathematicians in developing many mathematical equations since ancient times, from which mankind has benefited in many fields, especially technological fields, the scientist who developed computer architecture has had the greatest credit for the technological revolution in which we live. The scientist who developed computer architecture the mathematician, John von Neumann, an American of Hungarian origin, is the first to develop computer architecture, and is one of the most famous mathematicians of his time who contributed to the achievement of the most important scientific developments in the field of technology and computers, and these innovations made him a great scientist, as he worked to innovate many other applications in the field of computer and technology. In addition, he succeeded in being a mathematician, a physicist, a computer scientist, an engineer, and a polymath, as he combined pure and applied sciences. Princeton's Computer Architecture Concept Computer architecture is the science that studies the concepts that relate the tangible hardware components of a computer including input unit, output unit, storage unit, arithmetic logic unit, control unit, etc., with the software components represented in the operating system, which includes the way display data is transmitted and processed with the aim of simplifying complex tasks and maximizing performance, while reducing costs and energy consumption. The computer architecture developed by Newman and his collaborators in 1954 is the most recent, as the stored program of a digital computer keeps its program instructions and data in read-write and random access memory. The stored program design also allows for self-modifying the code. For more detail, the points on which the Newman computer architecture is based can be summarized in the following points. Structuring computers on the basis of individual units, each with its own task. Dividing the internal memory into primary units called cells, and each cell is attached to a special number called the address. Adoption of the binary numbering system, in order to encrypt all orders, instructions, and data. Store commands and data in the same internal, central, memory. Sequence numbering of addresses of memory cells that store successive commands. Commands are executed sequentially as the second starts after the first ends. Possibility to stop the order of execution of instructions by condition nulls or unconditional interventions. How does the computer architecture developed by John von Neumann work? The computer architecture developed by Neumann, which we currently use in all countries of the world, is divided into several units, each of which performs a specific function and program to process information and show results, and includes Input Unit The input unit, comprising the keyboard and mouse, is used to enter data into a computer system by the user. Therefore, it basically connects the user to the computer which takes the data from the input devices, converts it into machine language and then loads it into the computer system. Output Unit The output unit provides the display of the results of the computer process to the users, that is, it connects the computer with the external environment. Most of the output data is text, audio or video. The various output devices include monitors, printers, amplifiers, headphones, etc. Primary memory Contains both instructions and entered data. Basic memory It includes an addressing mechanism, so that the CPU can refer to the addresses of instructions to be executed by the user. CPU It is the unit that performs the operations required to be performed by the user, and it includes the arithmetic and logical unit, ALU, which works to execute the instructions brought from the main memory to the central processing unit. In addition to processing data that is fetched from the initial memory to the CPU to be acted upon. This unit also contains a record bank, 
which forms a kind of storage board where intermediate results can be stored and referenced more quickly than in the initial memory. A Glimpse into the Life of John von Neumann John von Neumann was born on December 28, 1903, to a wealthy and educated Jewish family, in Budapest, which was then part of the Austro-Hungarian Empire. John was the eldest son of three brothers in the family that moved from Pech to Budapest at the end of the 80s of the 19th century, where his father, Max von Neumann, 1873-1928 AD, born in the city of OND in northern Hungary, had moved to Budapest from Pech, where he worked as a banker, in addition to obtaining a doctorate in law. John von Neumann was considered a child prodigy. Since he was six years old, he has been able to mentally divide two eight-digit numbers without using paper and pen, in addition to being fluent in the ancient Greek language. At the age of eight, von Neumann was familiar with calculus, and by the age of 12 he had read and understood Borel's Theorie des Functions. Von Neumann studied chemistry and mathematics simultaneously. Since John was not sufficiently familiar with chemistry, he was arranged to take a two-year chemistry course without a university degree at the University of Berlin, after which he sat for the entrance examination at ETH Zurich, the prestigious Federal Institute of Technology in Zurich in September 1923, at the same time. Von Neumann also attended Pasmany Petter University in Budapest, to obtain a doctorate in mathematics. Swiss Federal Institute in Zurich he died at the age of 53 on February 8, 1957, at Walter Reed Military Medical Center in Washington, of cancer. Accomplishments of John von Neumann We find that there are many achievements made by the scientist John von Neumann, in addition to the development of computer architecture, and we will learn about them in some detail in the following points. John worked as a lecturer at Princeton University in the United States, in addition to his participation in the Manhattan Project with the aim of developing the arms industry during and after World War II, with theoretical physicist Edward Teller, mathematician Stanislav Ulam, and others to solve problems in nuclear physics related to thermonuclear reactions the hydrogen bomb. John developed many different theories in the field of mathematics, in addition to being the author of many different books that contribute to its simplification. During 1928 he worked as a lecturer at the University of Berlin, and at that time he published a research paper on Zur Theorie der Gesellschaftsspiel. In 1932, he published his first book, Mathematical Foundations of Quantum Mechanics, in cooperation with Professor Hilbert. In 1929, he moved to the University of Hamburg, and after a short period received an invitation from Princeton University in the United States of America to give a lecture on quantum theory. He was distinguished by his ability to explain and simplify mathematical theorems to his students at the university, and although the students struggled with his speed of deduction of data, he was also facilitating physical problems. During 1933, the Institute for Advanced Study was established in Princeton, where John was one of its most famous mathematics professors, and later became an assistant editor in the Annals of Mathematics. He co-authored Game Theory and Economic Behavior, one of his most famous works ever, published in 1944. In 1937, he obtained American citizenship. Von Neumann published more than 150 papers in his lifetime, 60 of them in pure mathematics, 60 in applied mathematics, 20 in physics, and the rest on special mathematical or non-mathematical subjects. The rest is in special sports or non-sports topics. He played a key role in contributing to the design and development of the United States' first ICBM programs, along with Bernard Shriver and Trevor Gardner. He has been the country's premier nuclear weapons expert and a principal advisor to the U.S. Department of Defense on a variety of issues of concern. The most famous sayings of John von Neumann, the mathematician who developed computer architecture. There are many famous sayings of the scientist John von Neumann in mathematics, and they are as follows. If people are not convinced that mathematics is simple, they do not realize the complexity of life. In mathematics, you don't understand things, but you get used to them. 
A computer, like a human, does everything but think. There's no point in being precise if you don't even know what you're talking about. Awards won by John von Neumann. After knowing who is the scientist who developed the computer architecture, it remains to know what are the most prominent awards he won, as Newman received many valuable awards, most notably. Boucher Memorial Prize, 1938. Naval Distinguished Civil Service Award, 1946. Medal of Merit, 1946. Medal of Freedom, 1956. Enrico Fermi Award, 1956. He was named in 1999 in the Financial Times as the Person of the Century in honor of his achievements and contributions to the modern world.